got to start including quiet jazz. Yeah, you know, I've been, uh, listen, maybe I got to walk back a statement. You know, I've been pretty critical of jazz as uh, as far as a cultural thing, kind of like the Weimar Germany thing, cabaret culture. You know, yes, it uh, it is decadent, but since uh, there was some, you know, Henry Ford takes talking about how in American culture that may be responsible for the decline, I think that may be competing against some of my early rock and roll. And so I don't know, maybe I got to defend jazz as as an American, as an American patriot. I think jazz is here to stay for the culture. So even if I said some disparaging words in the past, I may have to walk that back. And okay, yeah, we're gang jazz. Maybe that's the arc. Maybe we're in a, maybe we're uh, cozying up to uh, Sinatra and uh, Dean Martin. Maybe the Rat Pack is, uh, hey, maybe not so bad after all. Who knows? Who knows? I know the Mississippi Delta here is, that's where that origin race is. Ah, uh, there you uh, go. Memphis there you go. kind of area. Also, New Orleans. That's the cool. South, man. The <laughs> South. I know, I know we like to, uh, you know, city post and uh, have this little rivalry. But, you know, look, I, I can never hate the South, even if it's not my thing. It's not my crowd scene. That is where uh, a lot of my stuff seemed to come from. So, listen, I, I, got, I got love in my heart for the Southerners, okay? I got love in my heart for the Southern Bells and a manner of other things, so... No there's hate. Many things on this side. There's many things to like about us. Um, our great fast food, you know, Chick Fil A. We can't forget about Bojangles. You know, hey man, hey you man. know, yes. come here. Of course, the great music. Also, some of the best cities in the country. I think architecturally, New Orleans, Charleston. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's a couple other ones. Others not so great. I guess New Orleans too. I'm sure Mr. Sandbatch, if he was on here, would show for his own city. You know. Mm. Um, you know, I understand the loyalty. It's uh, it, it makes sense. Um, my friend from Georgia was was uh, hyping me up on the Bojangles hype. So, no, it's very good, honestly. If you got, if, right, if you have right. it there, you gotta try it. Very good. Highly recommend it. Um, Zaxby's. I think that's another one he listed. I'm not sure where the rivalry is gonna be there, but I think he's from Missouri, so he's not even a southerner. So I don't even know what you're talking about, man. You're not even in this conversation. So Frank Frankie is uh, <laughs> Frankie is calling my 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 loyalty into question. I find this very provocative. Bit of a Rasputin character in the chat there. I'm uh listen, I, I defended our state. I, I went I went to bat for California. I'm on the John Miller stance where even if a city like LA has definitely changed, I think there is still reputable stuff associated with California. So I do think some of the nationalism with the California is still appropriate, even in this 21st century era. So, you know, we can't forget Rodney Bingenheimer. We cannot forget Sunset Strip. Okay, this is our identity. Okay, a lot of our stuff came from there. So I don't want to hop on a bandwagon and say that uh, it's a foregone conclusion that it's over. It's never over. We're just uh, thinking in 100 year terms. So We'll see what happens to California. Maybe some of the Zoomers will change their tune. Maybe they're a part of that whole arc. So not going to be too black belt about that, okay? I don't want to hear the California slander, maybe demographic-wise. But listen, man, this is my place. This is my home, all right? And uh, even if the Central Valley has its problems, listen, I got to uh, share some of that, that Southern loyalty that they have for their flyover states. We got our own little shindig over here. Although I will say from our stream about California, Southern California is honorarily a part of the South. I will say hey, man. the early settlers, it was Southern for a long time. Pirates yes. early history. Go check that out if you're interested in that. That's right. I want to find, because yeah, you and me went over it, some of the details. And hey, look, so Southern California Alliance, more like that, you know, it's not a brotherhood. It, it is family. You know what I mean? It's not It's not a friend. It's, uh, it's part of the... Uh, the identity full swing. I'd like to find that video on your channel. That's so true. LA is a southern city. Many people don't realize this, but it is a southern city. It was for a lot of its early history until the mass immigration came in from the north. Surprise, surprise. But LA is still and always will be a southern city. Um, it was for its early history, a lot of part of it. After yeah, it took I'm it thinking... from the Spanish. 
I'm thinking we're waving the Confederate flag for uh to show some California some California identity. Maybe hey, that. a lot of them were waving the flag when the South seceded. So I'm just gonna say that LA was proudly supporting that. You know, some really based history there. You know, so we can't give up entirely on that concept. Yeah, hey, I think I think we're we're doubling down with Captain Steel, man. This guy's this guy's opening me up, opening me up to British culture, and he's also defending the Golden State. The guy just cannot do any wrong, it seems. So, thank you, Captain Steel, for uh, keeping the lights on for this episode. My goodness, but uh, is an absolute X. Geography is excellent, but she's ah oh, interesting. You know that that may help. You know the way. Uh, well, I mean that's a bit of a tangent. I think the fact that we have the Valley Girl archetype, which was born here, and also the hippies. I mean, for better or for worse, it may be more easier to understand some of the political ramifications by looking at this as a woman. So, hey, thank you, Stephen David been doing well, great stuff the personification in chat. of california is a woman like even before like california was named like i talked about this the name california comes from caliph no sorry sure. or whatever that the legend the story of the spanish so i mean like and that, that was the embodiment of a woman so like there's something to no. it you know right right no that's yeah. something to consider something to uh maybe that's some of the the stubbornness that we're seeing in the states some of the the, the priorities may be out of whack because uh, we're trying to reason with uh, a certain archetype. And so, hey, it may take kicking and screaming to reason with, but I think uh, there's a lot of stuff people like archetype-wise. Well, I will say the problem with uh, California's her water supply is bad and mismanaged um, due to incompetency at the at Sacramento and uh, <laughs> the federal government incompetently managing water, so... Which again, it shouldn't exist. Obviously, California should have plenty of water. Mm. But of course, we can't manage our water at all. We have to give it all to the you know, and people steal the farmers in the Central Valley, and then it lowers the land, and we lose the lakes because California used to have like the third largest lake, I think, or something, um, in the U.S., but it was destroyed to uh, make cotton fields. So. Interesting history with the Central Valley and farming, if you guys are interested about why the water is the way it is now. Yeah, <laughs> here it is. All right, I'll link this in chat. Old times. Thank you. Uh, I have never had in and out so I have to take people's word for it. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the fries are overrated. Maybe that's contrarian, but... I just don't get it. Maybe people in chat can help me out. I just don't get it. Um, it's all right, but not not so sure. Not so uh, not sold. But hey, George Puente, am I saying that right? Because when I'm thinking about you in my mind, I want to get the details correct. I don't want the alias to get in the way of things. Fries. I don't know. Okay. I think Chick Fil A is some of the best fries, but I mean that's just right. because of bias. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with the waffle fries here. Brandon, just not understanding the uh, the polemic uh, rhetorical argument that I'm putting down here. So listen, I understand people are loyal out of you know regional loyalty, but listen, people just gotta be honest with themselves. I don't think people are lining up at in and out at odd hours for the fries. I think that that's a little too controversial. And really, it's it's like when you try to squeeze something to try and get every bit of enjoyment. If you have to put so much effort, maybe it's not worth it to begin with. So I'm sorry. We're declaring war against those fries. It's not good. I would rather go to Burger King straight up. Would rather go to Burger King and get the Dave single with those you know weirder fries. But it's different. Maybe it's the salt. I don't know what it is, but listen, I'm sorry. The the in and out enjoyers are just going to have to take an L on the fries. It's They don't have the full package. They got a little bit. They got the burger. They got pride in that. But if you're talking about a full package, it's a bit out of whack. It's 